Hello, this is um, a video to talk to you about Duolingo Diamond League. So this is for the users of Duolingo. If you use Duolingo to learn a language, you know what I'm talking about. And I decided to make this little video with some strategies that I have personally used in order to win in the Diamond League. Now I'm going to come clear here and say this is this video is not for people who are going to talk about how Duolingo is for language learning and not for winning. And to me, the two are not mutually exclusive. Uh, I love to learn languages, but that does not mean that I don't enjoy winning the leagues. And I had set a personal goal after winning some of the previous leagues that I was going to win the Diamond League and I was going to get the legendary badge that Duolingo gives you. And it took me a while. It took me two weeks, actually. The first week I tried my strategies. It did not work because I came up against a very strong competitor and I dropped out. And I will discuss with you how I did that. And I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with the strategies that I am going to discuss, but um, I still feel that um, since I applied the strategies the next week and they did work, in fact, today my league finished and I came first and I did not have to get an insane amount of XPs to be able to win the league. So I decided to make this little video and to share that with you and I'll be posting this onto our Duolingo um, Facebook group. Okay. So what are these winning strategies or what are the things that I did? Now I'm going to, um, first of all, I'm going to start off with a disclaimer. I'm going to say that, look, I'm sharing eight, I think eight specific strategies, but I can't guarantee that they will work for you. We live in different parts of the world. We have different circumstances. We have different kinds of time frames on our hands. You know, we are individuals, so it is not foolproof. But if this helps any of you to win, I'd be very, very happy. First of all, strategy number one is to upgrade your account to premium. You need this. You need to be able to get your XPs without running out of hearts, which happens if you're doing using a mobile device. Um, I have not played it on the computer. I use Duolingo only on my mobile. So I can only talk about that, that it is extremely frustrating to run out of hearts. It is extremely frustrating to have to wait um, for the ads to finish. So I realized that in order to win the Diamond League, I would have to have a premium account. There are two ways to do it. Of course, you can you know, um, ask a kind friend to sign up for Duolingo. And that will, if they sign up using your link, then you do get a premium and you get it for one week. So time your um, signing up in such a way that you suddenly don't run out of your premium on the last day of your league. Uh, if possible, sign up at least a couple of friends. So you've got two weeks in a row. Um, um, or the other one, this is the one I did just for peace of mind. I just took up a month's subscription, a premium subscription, but I knew I was just going to do it for a month. And I did that. And that enabled me to score XPs whenever I had time to work on Duolingo without having to worry about my hearts running out. Okay. The second strategy is joining the Diamond League as late in the day as possible. Now, this strategy has been discussed quite a bit on the Duolingo uh, Facebook pages, on the groups. So I'm just going to talk about it again and say, look, it, it depends on where you are from. I live in the Southern Hemisphere and I live in a country where um, I am far ahead than others in time zones. I'm, I'm one of the first um, to see the start of the league. So that probably helped me. I'm not too sure, but you have to work that out. So the way I worked it is when I finished my Obsidian League, league I waited until almost 11.30 that night before starting my Diamond League. So I did not want to wait for more than, you know, um, 24 hours. Or I did have a streak freeze. I could if I wanted to, but I did not want to do that. Um, I wanted to join the same day that I finished my Obsidian. Um, but I did join it at 11.30. And the first week I did that, despite doing that, I still came up against a very strong competitor. And 
I probably could have still beat that person, but I did not want to spend so much time on Duolingo. I did not want my life to come to a halt. Um, so I dropped out and I will again tell you how. And this week, um, my in my league, I had competitors who were like me. You know, they were hardworking, they were getting the XPs, but it wasn't an insane amount. So it worked for me. So that is what I will say. So what happens is the very super competitive people will jump on to uh, the Diamond League or jump onto each league as soon as, because they are super eager and they've got the time. Avoid them. The way to avoid them is to join the league as late as possible. Okay. The third strategy that I used is um, I was mainly learning French on Duolingo. Um, I was also learning a little bit of Italian. But then I added another language um, that I knew a little bit. I knew better than French. That wasn't my target language to learn. But because I knew it better than French, I knew that I could score XPs on it more. And this is where I think the bone of contention begins. Because this is where people go, oh, then you're not learning a language. Well, you know what? A competition is a competition is a competition. So I don't want to feel ashamed or I don't want anyone to be made to feel ashamed about wanting to compete. Yes, of course, the people that are doing outright um, dishonest things like, you know, getting people to play on multiple accounts um, of the same account, but on multiple devices or using bots or tweaking. I've come across such people in my previous leagues. That is cheating. This is strategizing. There is a difference. So this is a very, very effective strategy. Pick up a language that you know better than your target languages or use the language that some of you learned four, five, six languages there, right? I was only learning three. So pick up the language that you are the strongest in and make that your target language for that week when you're trying to win the Diamond League because it is about XP's friends. It is XP's, XP's, XP's. That is what will get you there. So then switch around. I did a bit of experimentation. I got the timer on my daughter to have the timer on and go, okay, can you time me? How long is it taking me for this language? How long is it taking me for that language to complete each one of those, you know, uh, sessions? And I stuck to the language that I was the fastest in and that gave me the most amount of XP's. Okay, moving on. Strategy four set up an xp boost so your gems or your lingots will buy you the double the wager double your xp buy as many of those as you can because then you're spending the same amount of time but you are actually earning more xps because remember it is about getting the xps so um strategy five is using the xp ramp up challenge now this comes automatically with your premium account. It's the little purple arrows that you see in there. Um, and it is a timed challenge. And um, to be honest with you, I have managed to complete up to 30 XPs multiple times within five minutes. I think that's the maximum you get. I have not been able to complete my 40 XPs. But to be able to get 30 XPs um, repeatedly in five minute blocks has actually helped me. So if you are able to do that, do that. Because again, it's all about getting XPs. All right, strategy six, read the stories. Um, don't know what your target language is, but if it is French, the stories are, first of all, they are absolutely delightful. They are humorous. Some of them are outright quirky. Um, they will entertain you. They will freshen your brain up while you're trying to, trudging along, trying to get your XPs. But also, um, the stories will not penalize you for making mistakes. They will not take any hearts away from you if you are still not, you know, you're not using the premium account. And um, you can just keep trying until answers are correct. And as you go through the stories, as you go to the sets, the further down you come, like set 10, set 11, set 12, etc., your amount of XPs you can get goes up. I was getting 22 XP per story. I can't remember which set I'm up to. I think set 15 or 16. And I was prepared to go the whole way. I think it had about 22 sets. Uh, I didn't have to, um, but um, I was getting 22 XPs per story. And I probably did uh, at least 20 stories, uh, you know, uh, starting at some like set 10 and carrying on. So 
do the stories. They are very, very um, effective. Okay. Strategy number seven, build up your XPs early. Get in there early and build up uh, a barrier. Build up, um, uh, what, what do you call it? Um, yeah, build up, um, um, I've lo I'm lost for words. What I'm trying to say is the more XPs you have, the more of a difference you have, the more ahead you are. So build up a distance with your competitor. Um, and for this, you will need to have your phone um, like I, I was carrying it around like my pet kitten and any time like the, okay, the jug's boiling, I'm making some tea, I'm going to stand there and quickly do a lesson. Um, I'm out there watering the plants, I'm going to stand there, do a lesson. I am out walking, I'm going to do a lesson. So whenever I was having a little bit of time where I was waiting for something to happen or I was not preoccupied um, doing, you know, I, I work full time, so doing my job or um, attending to my family. I was building up my XPs and I was building a buffer. Build up buffers. Make your XPs as high as possible, as early as possible. Do not wait for the last minute because remember that your competitors are coming from different time zones. When you are sleeping, they're probably up. But when you are up, they're probably asleep. But be prepared. Like I remember that I had, um, this was, yesterday this was um today's monday for me yesterday sunday i around four o'clock in the morning i kind of just woke up just just an instinct and i had built up believe it or not a thousand xp lead and the person who was coming second actually caught up and exceeded that thousand xp lead so um he or she must have stayed up the whole night i don't know what they had done but they had managed to catch up and exceed me so then of course i had to get up then and there and start building my lead again and i managed to build another 700 or 800 xp lead and that got me through that made me um uh, come first because this person either didn't wake up or didn't have time and didn't chase me anymore so do not get complacent uh, the thing is this is competition. If you want to win, you have to put in the hard yarn, is what I'm saying. Strategy number eight. Now, if uh, despite doing all of these things, you find that you are not going to be able to get there, then decide that earlier on. You can't decide that uh, when you've got one day left for the league to finish, because by then you've got too much XP to be able to drop out of the first 10. So I was lucky that the first time I tried the Diamond League, the competition that I had, the person that was actually leading it was getting an insane amount of XPs. And within the first two days of being in the league, I realized that there was no way I was going to be able to catch up with that person. Whether that person was using bots or what they were doing, I don't know, that's not my business. I just had to, be, had to, had to strategize and I thought, no, I'm dropping out of the first 10. And I did that. Um, be careful though. You don't want to go below 44, you don't want to go 45, you don't want to be demoted. So I stayed about 20 feet, 24 or something. And of course, I still stayed in the Diamond League. And I um, tried this week. And this week, I did not have insane competition. And so I managed to come first. So be prepared to do that. You might have to do that multiple times until you have found the right fit, the perfect league where you stand a strong chance of winning. And that's it, guys. Those are the eight strategies that I have used. So bon chance to all of you. Best of luck. If this video helps you, I'll be super happy. Um, and uh, yeah. And um, happy learning languages on Duolingo. Take care. Bye.